Hey, Dawn here. Okay, so I'm testing out the Open Camera app again, and I have my frame rate at 30 frames per second and my bit rate at 20 uh, megabits or megabytes per second, whichever way you're supposed to say it. Um, let me see, it's a lot clearer. I think this is the best we're going to get because I just tried 30 and the app crashed. So it crashes on everything above 20. So that <laughs> quick way to find out what does what, I guess. But I'm going to come up here and get on the screen. This is my little, this is the ones I haven't tried out yet, but I'm put them in my wish list. That's what they give you here with the uh, Google uh, Play Store. And uh, I just tried out one that, uh, let's see if I can get over there to it, go to the app section and go to my apps. Now what's odd about this is that it shows everything you've ever installed instead of what you actually have on your system. But it's a good record in that way, but when you go to one, well, you know, I mean, you can't just quickly see what's on your system, that's for sure. Which is what I would have expected. Um, it has turned out to be good to be able to look through there. I know what I've tried, and I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't like that one, you know, I took it off. But it ought to be in two different sections is what it ought to do. You ought to have like a record of what you tried and a record of what you didn't like. There it is, remote multi-drive free. It turns basically it turns your <coughs> turns your phone into a little server when you start this app it starts out with and it, it defaults to no password and when you get in there you can delete files you can play them you can download them you can all in your web browser you have to do it all in your web browser and I can't show it again because I already shut it down luckily it does shut down the server where's my yeah, problem loading page, that would have been it. Let's see, now you can see it. 192.168.0.112 is my IP it gave me. It, it turns on a, a DNS, a dynamic DNS server. Uh, well, it got it. No, it didn't turn it on. It got it from my router. That's what it did. It said dynamic DNS, turn it on or off. What it meant was receiving. Port 8080 and uh, Android is where it was. But yeah, see when you try to go, see that's just my cat, my web cache. So, uh, but you can uh, add a file, create a folder. Let's go up here. I wasn't even showing it, was I? Add a file. Go up there to select action. Add a file, create a folder. Manage a window. You can s click on different boxes and tell them to all like open. So you can have two and then say, you know, do the managing the browser. I tried all this stuff. I, sh I should just make a desktop video of this if I was going to. And you can just delete selected items. So that's scary. So I uh, I definitely put me a uh, password in there right quick. But I wouldn't use this anywhere but my own local network because the password is uh, you can encrypt you can encrypt your connection. And I probably need to do that, but that's going to be, you got to make a paired key, to do your keys and all that stuff. I don't know of any, that's hard to do in the, in the terminal for me, tapping all that stuff out. Uh, if there was a GUI app for making keys for Android, that'd be alright. I can do it in my, on my Linux systems. This is a Linux system for Door 23. That's what I use every day, all day. And uh, except for when I was using Windows to mess with these phones some, because they didn't have a Linux app available. But um, this here is their little picture slideshow of what what it looks like, and uh, it's pretty cool. I was I was kind of like what I was really looking for was something to right at the moment anyway. I'd already found this and I thought it sounded in interesting. It has 4.3 rating and all that, so you know it, people seem to like it. Uh, I was trying to find something that I could uh, stream videos from my phone to my computer. Uh, there's just quite a few for going to the TV. I don't actually... 
there's one in the living room, but I never use it. The one that I use in here, uh, the TV is old and it uh, doesn't have any of that kind of stuff. I don't have any way to stream. I don't have anything smart in here, including myself. So, uh, <coughs> I, guess I haven't installed these yet. Cloud VPN, I don't know if I'll do that because it has something built into the phone for that. Don't really need any more file explorers. Once I found, found Total Commander, I was good. And uh, I, Firefox is my favorite browser. That's what we're in right now. But uh, as far as the phone goes, it seems that Chrome, which came with it, works really well. So it has all you know. It's got cool features. You can search by voice and all that stuff. And, and on a phone, that's cool because you can't. It's hard to type on the phone. I can hardly do it at all. I did find a keyboard. It's called Hacker's Keyboard, and it, uh, it's a, you know, you can see, you don't have to keep punching that little button to get back and forth between the numbers and the, and the letters. Probably go ahead and put Skype on there. Don't use it much, but uh, once in a while. WhatsApp is one that I, it's another chat app. That I've heard, I always hear, I'm always hearing about it, but I never have, I thought, well, I might try it. Never have tried it. Well, I don't think, it's only for the phone, I believe. Gmote is one for, uh, let's see what does it do, turns your phone to a remote control for your computer, yeah, well that's, I don't know if I really, I mean, I'm, that's the hard way to control your computer, only, it'd be alright for a player, it might be alright, that's the reason I put it in my to-do list here, 